Hi, this is Peter Goldberg from Simitron Post Production Transfer Company. And on today's tutorial, we will explain how to apply the best motion tracking techniques. With this technique, you will be able to just make a couple of simple steps, apply some motion tracking without any plugins at all, in order to easily deploy the motion tracking videos taken without steady cams or even from your mobile devices using some plugins. As on so let's first take a look at the video that we will use as reference to explore the motion tracking that we need to accomplish. So as you can see from this footage that Charles Woody, we have a character running from his head and then doing the subject special effects on the background, like this and the persons that are now crumbling subscribers. As you can see, it will be not usually not a bad view, but on the way that we are exploring now, it's so easy to do. So let's first make a position. I can't do a position that we are to create. We will be able to put some feathers and then we have some nowadays with the and uh, yeah, with the So, after creating a we will on the lower side of the effects window, create new solid where we can create new effect and we go to some news and apply it. As you can see, it will be scalable. Screen by doing just dragging and pressing. And you can always press the shift button and do it smoothly without any problem. So, if you will, if you get to the layer where you can always check and be able to do all the time. Going back to the composition, let's just go a little bit higher than the screen because we will be. Want to use some of the extra areas that, that are going to come to the next step. By working on the timeline, we will be able to look at the frames that we're working with so that we are getting a square to the right side of the screen and, as usually, doing some usage of plugins like that code to and lots, but we are not going to use them, we will just do the timeline and the easily adapt features from the square to deploy the instrument. So let's first create a transform menu a position keyframe on the front seal. Anything at all, but then we just have to click one and we find the new square in the newest position and just add automatic. Now we have moving. We are able to add it to the render view where we can some of the 